What's good YouTube, Nate with Mass Collector, back with another PSA submission video. So the cards I have here are gonna be my um, next submission for a regular service, which we're pretty much estimating now at about eight to 10 weeks is my guess. Um, I put in a submission about I think it was uh, towards the end of January um, or right at the beginning of February when they received it and it was logged two weeks later with it being received and in the grading process and it's been in the grading process for about a week and a half two weeks right now this is February 24th today um, I'm guessing it's gonna take another couple weeks at least before it even gets into the quality check area but anyways here's my next one doesn't matter if i wait or submit it now it's still going to take the same amount of time so why not my next regular submission uh, i got 20 cards this time and uh, just trying to pull the cards that i think are going to uh return the, mo the most value like i think i'm going to sell everything that's in this pack right here so whatever comes back it's going on ebay or if it comes back a really high grade it might go to some auction company just so i'm not totally liable and getting screwed by some ebay buyer so <clears throat> here's what i got this time magic johnson 1988 fleer um, I bought this off of Facebook for 10 bucks. I know it's not perfectly centered, but it's Magic Johnson 1988 Fleer. And it pretty much the, the card surface and edges and corners are perfect, are very, very nice. Uh, the face side is not centered perfectly, obvi obviously, but it's pretty damn close. and. Even getting a nine, it's a pretty high value card. So putting 50 bucks, $60 total into, into this investment, it's gonna pay off. So that's what I did with this. I have Magic Johnson 1988 All-Star card, which top to bottom, obviously it's pushed up a little bit. Right to left, just push to the left. I, obviously it's not going to get a 10 but I'm thinking 8 to 9 um, the the surface corners edges on this thing are ridiculous I mean a touch of white and stuff like that on the edges on the side but on the top there's nothing so I'm thinking if this thing does not at least get an 8 something wrong Beautiful card. Next one, Dennis Rodman, 88 Flair, rookie card. Um, left to right, pretty damn close. Top to bottom, different story. Definitely pushed towards the top. But other than that, um, there is nothing wrong with this card. Corners are perfect. The edges are perfect. There's no wear and tear on the edges at all, especially on the gradient spots, like on the on these sides. There's nothing wrong with it at all. There's no print bubbles, uh, no little yellow circles um, on the card at all. No issues at all. Uh, on the back, it's literally almost perfectly centered. Close. It's not there. I mean, it's got to come down a little bit. Otherwise, man, it looks awesome. Uh, I'm thinking nine, based on what I previously have sent in that have received nines. This is a nine. Uh, at least a nine. It could slide into the 10 category based on 60-40 calculation on the, on the border, but we'll see. Scotty Pippen, 88 Fleer. 
Um, it's definitely not centered perfectly, no doubt about that. Push to the bottom. It's got a little print bubble here. I'm thinking this is an eight or a nine, probably an eight, but it's Scotty Pippen's rookie card. Um, you know, the back shouldn't affect it as much versus what you're seeing on the face of it, especially this, this, this year, this 1988 Fleer. It's not easy to get a per perfect card, man. Look at the pop reports. Like five to ten percent, if that, make a ten on these cards because nobody fucking took care of them. Uh, next card is a uh, Michael Jordan starting lineup. So this is a 1990 edition. So his third starting lineup year. Um, there was two cards in that figure pack. This one was at the bottom of the pack. So the brown border. Uh, center really nice I mean the the more narrow you get on the border like the white on this border the thinner it gets the harder it is to make a, a 10 um, grade because there's just not that much room to play and it's super noticeable so the wider you get the more room you have to play with as far as like 10 parameters go but this one looks pretty good, actually. Um, the brown border, such a sick card. I'm sorry, but these starting lineup cards look better than some of the regular base cards do for Fleer. Uh, the back looks really nice. No, no um, staining or things like that on it. 1990. Super cool. Uh, so same card year, so 1990, showing an 84 picture, starting lineup, 1990. This one, I mean, looks perfect. There's literally nothing wrong with this card. Um, the back is not centered as well as the face, so that, that's for sure but it's close enough based on PSA's parameters for a 10 grade. You know, I just eyeballing this looks perfect. So that's what I got on that. Th this is a 10. Uh, this is the 88 starting lineup figure. This card again, um, almost perfectly centered, right to left, top to bottom. Uh, super nice color on it. Edges, corners look really good. Man, I don't, the back looks perfectly centered. I don't know what else would get a 10 on, on this type of quality. But if it's not this one, I don't know what will get better. I mean, it might, I mean it's off center just a hair to the left. But other than that, man, a 1988 card getting submitted now for PSA. This is a fucking 10. Jordan 88 Fleer. Uh, just push to the left and to the top just a hair as far as centering goes. Centering goes. Um, there's no print bubbles in this thing. So like all the corners and edges look really good too. Except for this couple of spots here and here. So it's probably not going to make a 10. Uh, you look at the back, it's definitely, you know, not centered. But... It's within that 90-10 area, which PSA calls a 10 grade. So, base. I mean, the back looks really good, except for it just being pushed over to the to the right a little bit. So it's not it's not a 10, but this is definitely an eight or a nine. 
Jordan, 1988, Fleer, All-Star. Uh, right to left, let's push to the, to the right a bit, a little bit. Push to the top a little bit. Other than that, it looks really good. I think this is a 1988 card, again. Um, also look at you know the top and the bottom, see if there's any whiting going on. There's a couple little spots here and there, but man, this thing looks really good. And look at that fucking picture. Soaring, the poster. I mean, for anybody that's 35 years old and older, probably knows what I'm talking about. The gray border all the way around. Michael Jordan at top, soaring at the bottom. That, this picture, that was the poster. I feel grateful to be able to watch the guy play like in person one time, but like on TV all the time, just to watch the guy play the game is ridiculous how good he was. An um, 87 Fleer sticker. This one is totally 100% legit for sure because this was bought uh, decades ago. I've had this forever. Um, it's way off, you know how it's cut weird. I think this would actually be a fucking bonus because in 87 and 88, the cards were so off cut at an angle. It was kind of borderline ridiculous. So I think at some point, these are gonna be more popular than anything because everybody pulled this shit. Everybody pulled cards, these stickers that were off cut. If you were to get, this might be the card you want to do as a qualifier. Because if you were to get a 10 OC, is that even possible? If you were to get that on this card, it could be worth more than the regular card. That's not off-centered at all. That would be rad. I'm going to have to look at that because this thing looks really good except for the, uh, <laughs> the weird angled clip on it. Uh, next one is a top crop. So this is top stadium club is like 1990. Was it 96? Yep, 1996. So it's got Akeem on one side and uh, Shaquille O'Neal on the other. Uh, super awesome card. I found this when I was going through all my old collection. Like, I pulled this out of a pack. It's like, you know what? These are these cards are badass. Just kind of like those Bowman's Best Honor Roll ones I've been getting. The uh, <clears throat> uh, the silvers and the refractors because they have a star. Hall of, do a Hall of Famer on both sides of one card. Anything over an eight is money. To think that both have to be perfect to get a 10. Because you have two face sides of a card. Akeem Hajjuan and Shaquille will fucking kneel on the same card. That's all I have to say on that one. Um, Shaq, I pulled this card out of the pack. This is mine. That I've had forever. Number one NBA draft pick. Shaquille O'Neal Upper Deck, 92. This is just a badass card. They didn't have many of these like this besides like some of the, like Nolan Ryan Upper Deck, like 19, what, 89? First, first series. Um, Ricky Henderson had one, like the triple image, quad image cards, super cool. Uh, I don't know. I'm just submitting it because it's mine. And uh, it looks really good. I just want to see if, like, what I did as a kid 
as far as taking care of some of this stuff because I knew that at some point it was going to be worth some money. Here it is. I pulled this from a pack of cards. I'm, I'm submitting it to get it graded 30 years later, almost. Back when you collected cards to make sure you had one of each, at least. After that, you know, when you were collecting, you just wanted one of them. Now you want as many as you can get. Uh, Tim Duncan, I'm not a fan. I mean, he's a good player and all, but I mean, I bought these last year cheap and uh, whatever they come back as I'm selling. Uh, Tim Duncan, so this is the Tops rookie. 97. Uh, his SP Authentic rookie card. This one looks really good. Um, the back looks great. Like, if this came back a 10, which I think it might because it looks really, really good. I might keep this one for a while because there's the degree of error all the way around the face and the back because it's printed to the edge with a color. Hmm. I don't think you're going to get a huge percentage that are going to make a 10 on this card. This thing looks really good. Uh, Duncan. Future Watch card. Rookie SP Authentic. Same year as that previous one. I mean, it looks really good. Again, look at all, all the way around the edges and... There's like no, no issues at all. It just looks perfect. I mean, I can see a little tiny white spot on this corner, but I mean, if, if that's the difference between a 10 and a nine, woo. Man, this looks really nice. Um, Kobe Bryant. So all these cards I pulled from PAX when I was in college now. So these Corbys are uh, 96 metal, fresh foundation. Uh, it's really nice, you know, I mean, some of these I don't, I don't think I could sell, but I want them in a slab. I want to know what grade they are. I want to know what I did for the last 30 some years. Actually, it's going to pay off. Um, this one here, I had to clean quite a bit. I had, there was a lot of fingerprints on it. Um, it almost looked like the it was fading on it because there was so much just gunk. It wasn't just gunk. It was just like a film of dust or something that formed on it. And it was even in a uh, top loader. It just, it took me a while to clean it. It took my time, but I think I really did a really good job at it. Uh, I don't see any issues around the edges at all. Front or back. But... I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna come back really nice grade. At least I hope so. Um, I don't think I would sell it. Just because I know that I, I was the one that pulled it out of the pack. Same with all these Kobe's coming up. Um, this is the same thing. I make sure I clean this one off good. Uh, it's Kobe's uh, Skybox Premium. And uh, it looks good. 
like I'm trying to pull the best cards I have for these regular submissions, you know, I mean, 50 bucks a cards. I'm not paying this to keep it per se, but I mean, if some of these get a 10, I'm, I'm gonna list them right now. Um, they get lower than that, an eight or a nine, I'm probably gonna keep it, but you know, the whole point of this thing is to make some money back. You know, capitalize on what you've done for so many years. So this is Kobe Stadium Club Tops Rookie. Uh, it's fucking perfect condition. And I'm just not saying that. Colby Bryant. Upper deck. Again, I mean, I looked at this card up and down. It's. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. But again, it's a card I pulled out of the pack, man. Went right from a pack into a binder some of them in sleeves but most of them just regular just like into a binder sleeve ultra pro type shit so that's my next submission um 20 20 cards i think it is um i'm kind of this this whole stack here like is going on eBay for the most part, except for a few of them if they come back a certain grade, because there might just be some that are just more sought after than others. Um, we'll see what happens. I got time. But thanks you guys for checking out the video, listening to me rant about my uh, cards and whatnot. I have different perspectives on things than most people, but you might have heard every reason why on this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Like the video and ring the bell just to uh, be notified when I put other other stuff out. That way you'll know when I new video releases. Appreciate it very much. Thank you for, for checking it out. And we'll see you on the next one. Let's go back to